Okay, everybody, so I can't believe I'm already doing this video. I figured it'd be another week from now before I did this video. But once the plants start to break the top of the cup, it's time to move to the next stage with tomato plants. So check this out. Look at that. It's breaking the top of the cup right there. So today I'm going to go ahead and go to step two with these cups, with these plants, and bring you along for the ride. So both the plants are about four to five inches above the soil level in these cups. There's number one, <laughs> and there's number two. Both look incredibly, incredibly healthy. Normally I will start the seeds in smaller cups, styrofoam cups, or solo cups that are much smaller. But I decided to do these in these large cups for this reason. So I don't actually have to up pot them. I just have to add the soil in around them in this cup and let them just continue growing. Now I know I just did a video on up potting last month or the month before on tomatoes. So I won't go back over everything again in that I said in that video. But the important thing with the tomato plant, if you don't know, and if you're new to growing tomatoes is when you look at the stem, there are little hairs for lack of a better word that come off of the stem. This is one of the only plants that have little hairs that come off the stem. Now the good thing about those hairs is anytime it touches soil, those hairs have the potential to become roots. So when your tomato plant is growing, especially in this stage, you want to continue adding soil around the stem. That way you are creating a better, more viable, healthy root system for that plant. And especially when you go to transplant it in the garden, you, would you rather have a root system that's this long or a root system that's like this long? All roots and everything. Obviously, the more the better when it comes to roots. So I'm going to add a soil around the bottom of both of these plants and then move them off the heat mats and out from underneath the grow lights and get them in a window seal. They are past the stage of needing heat mats and grow lights, believe me. So <laughs> let's do it. Okay, the soil I'm gonna use is something different this time. I've never used this soil for tomatoes, but I've heard it's really it's good. the Happy Frog ha potting soil. This bag right here. Now I've put tape on it because I brought this back from work. That's the soil I'm gonna put down around the bottom of each of these tomato plants. And hopefully it'll do good. Now, if you remember when I started the seeds, I have seed starting mix right here. And I have an actual tomato soil, a tomato potting soil down here at the bottom. So these plants are getting a lot of nutrients, but I'm going to continue adding more and more because I'm trying to be Brian, the tomato king. Let's not forget, <laughs> this is a challenge and I want to win. <laughs> if for nothing else, just to be able to say, hey, I won. <laughs> and for everyone who's on team Chad, like, really let's do it these so, first two leaves right here at the bottom you can totally take off those are not true leaves those are the leaves from the seed so you don't need those leaves what you want are the true leaves which are the ones at the very top as long as those are exposed you're good to go so i'm going to go ahead and take off the seed leaves right now leaving the plant just like that as I got a mosquito messing with me, leaving the, tom leaving the tomato plant like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And we're just going to reach in, pinch off that bottom leaf because we don't need it. The plant doesn't need it. Just like that. As I'm knocking everything over. And now look at all that stem that's exposed there. And if you look really carefully, you can see those little hairs that I'm talking about. Now, we're just gonna add this soil in gently. Here, we'll start on this side. Just very gently around each of the tomato plants. And we're gonna take it all the way up to the very top of the tomato plant. Something like that. See, that is good. Dust all the 
the soil off. I'm going to put just a little bit more because think about it, when you add water, it's going to compact down. So just a little bit more around. All right, plant, which plant is this? <laughs> plant number two is good. Do the same to plant number one. Okay, y'all, both of these are done. Very simple, very quick. Again, the whole reason for doing that is just to make your tomato plants the most healthy, viable, strong plant it can be before you get it out there in your garden or wherever you're gonna plant your plant. This is what you do for all tomato plants uh, if you are growing them in a cup or in a seed tray and then you move it from a seed tray to a cup, to a bigger container, into the garden. Depending on your grow season, your length of season, all of that is based on your zone and your climate. But for me, we're good to go now. All I'm gonna do is just water these in, get them in the window seal, and we're good to go. I'll do another update in about a week when you will see a massive, massive change in how tall these things are in about a week. It'll be awesome all right everyone so that's my update as of right now the plants are off to a great start as you saw brian i don't know what your plants are doing i have not heard an update from you yet i know it's spring break for you and your son and your family and you're off doing your thing but i know i'm not the only one that wants to hear an update on your challenge seeds soon everyone take care god bless i'll talk to y'all again real soon watering them in now the one thing I did forget to mention is I will put a oscillating fan on these two tomato plants as soon as they break the top of the cup there will be a oscillating fan on them constantly to ensure that they are getting strong and I don't have another repeat of what I did with the single seed challenge tomato plant a little flimsy see Well, y'all, I cannot tell you how unbelievably disappointed I am right there. There we go. We are off to the races. <laughs> go Team Chad.